doing well i am dr melin so nict may 2024 uh, results are out and uh, a lot of students got the ranks they have expected and uh, i am making this video especially for those who got the rank that they were expecting and uh, now they are confused what branch to take and uh, which aims to choose whether to go for pj or whether to go for jipmar and definitely i understand there are a lot of questions in your mind regarding this selection and uh, you are asking yourself what should be my next move and also should i keep preparing for neat pg or uh, should i just stop so i'll just tell you briefly uh, in this video that what are the options that you have and i'll try to help you uh, with this video so if you have got a good rank so first uh, question that you ask yourself is a branch versus college so i will always say that whenever you have a doubt that whether to go for a branch or a college always put branch before uh, the college See, because college, a lot of you know, a lot of us we have this uh, you know attraction toward aims toward the institutes of national importance like PG and Jipper. We have this national attraction that you know our the name of aims in front of our name. But I'll tell you something that you know uh, the aims will stay with you for three years, but the branch is going to stay with you for the rest of your life. So definitely branch over college at any day. Now, should I compromise for the branch? The answer is no. But you know sometimes things don't go uh, your way so i'll give you my example i don't have to even give any other example uh, so i when i wrote my exam so i was getting uh, i was very uh, hardcore passionate about medicine like medicine i wanted medicine so through neat pg i was getting medicine but i wanted to study names i wanted to go for you know uh, this aims uh, you know i had this tag of aims i had some very deadly attraction toward this tag so i thought you know pediatrics is closer to closer to medicine like I I actually did not like pediatrics then. I used to feel you no know, how 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 I will be able to you know handle children and their parents and everything. I had lot of doubt in my mind. But that moment I had compromise and I I will say when I look back I feel I think I I made a good decision because sometimes you know you don't know uh, what you like. I have a, I had a friend who took pediatrics uh, who was in the top 10 ranks of uh, aims but he took pediatrics by choice but after 2 3 months he realized the branch is not for him. and he left it and then again he wrote exam and took radio so things can go either way but i'll still say that if you're passionate about something you'll love it and you'll enjoy that doing more instead of other branch and uh, that is actually the answer of the next question that how do i know which branch is best for me sometimes you'll never know you know what branch is best for me yourself because i have seen people you know they being passionate for a, uh, for a branch and then they take it see as a intern because most of you have just completed your mbbs and done the internship or just done some non acad jarship in some branch see till the time you become the resident you don't have that responsibility you don't have you know uh, that uh, you know you don't get to know the secrets and you know the things that are inside uh, and that happens in that particular branch so you will not know in your internship or even if i tell you about pediatrics or anyone else about their particular branch it's very difficult to uh, make a ch- you know to decide from someone else's experience so what i feel that you have to you know narrow down the two three branches that you want you have to see that you know what are your future prospect like for example i was the first doctor in my family so i knew that being a surgeon taking a surgical branch will be a uh, little bit tough because you do, you have to go for mch and you know for a surgical setup it it's a bit difficult so i thought i'll keep a take a medicinal branch which will easy for, which will be easier for me to start uh, you know a proper setup in future so it it's up to you like lot of students you know they want uh, like for example they don't want a lot of hectic life so they go for uh, branches like radio drama or ent which offers you a good combination of uh, clinic plus uh, not like so many of emergency duties so the answer for you know what branch is best for you the time is the answer but still you have to narrow down two three branches that you like and then the be- the branch that suits your lifestyle that gives you the best satisfaction that actually uh, that tra- that answers most of your questions you have to go uh, with that now a lot of uh, you know as since the inception of a uh, lot of new aims uh, this is the burning question that whether i should go for peripheral aims is it a good idea see definitely uh, initially there were six aims and uh, after that there were a lot of aims that came up and lot of aims are still in primitive uh, stages lot of branches are still growing so there is definitely a question of a patient load question of infrastructure that is there now what happens that when you take a branch in a peripheral aims like aims that has been recently opened so uh, sometimes you don't get that exposure that you get in a state college but you know there are plus and minus uh, side of everything 
so in aims you get a lot of research opportunities that you know the faculty are uh, most of the times they are from uh, central institutes only so they'll push for you for a uh, research and also you can get a lot of time to study so if you are uh, like someone who has idea of doing a dm in the future or a mch in the future so in aims you get more time to study see the state college have a lot of workload so you get a very good exposure as compared to aims but if you are if you want to prepare for your super specialty exam definitely you get less time but i'll say you know having a excessive load is also not good you are just fatigued and sometimes whatever you learn you you know there is always a question of a quality because sometimes you just treating the patient or thing doing things just by reflexes i know a lot of students will not agree with me but this is actually the reality if you go in the you know i have worked in the both places i have worked in aims i have worked in aims delhi as well and i have worked in a one of the best state colleges as well so i can tell you for sure you know so these are the differences that you usually uh, face so what you can do exactly this is what i also done if you st- get admission into peripheral aims and if you feel like you have not got the enough exposure you can do your researchship in a state college where you can polish all your skills before you start your practice even one or two years of researchship will be fine to you know get all the exposure that you require see benefit of that is state colleges have a heavy workload there is always a toxicity uh, that a lot of people talk about in state colleges so what happens that in src like if you feel like after one year you don't want to do it you can leave it in when you are a cadet jar when you are doing your pg you cannot leave after one year you have to complete your three years then only you will get your degree so that are roughly uh, the comparison between two so aims versus state college i feel you know there is no uh, differences in terms of you can take benefit of both you do your pg from state college and go for pg in aims Uh, for SRC in aims or you do a pg in aims and go in a state college uh, for your SRC so you can get the best of the both worlds and uh, instead of saying what versus what you can actually complement both the things for uh, each other and that is what i feel can um, help you now uh, if you have to choose between a uh, aims or other names the lg jepan and pj so i'll say first of all the branch wherever you get your branch of choice definitely you should go there then city when actually i was also preparing uh, getting my you know selecting the peripheral aims i thought you know bhopal uh, was something that i thought uh, i will be comfortable with the language and the city so i i, I think that was my and closer to my place so i think that was the choice that i took also the current status that where you want to settle you should set take the uh, I, i feel you should stay close to your uh, state so that will also definitely help you now the question is will i regret taking peripheral aims you know i get lot of questions uh, and mails from the students that you know i am getting a branch in newly opened on aims see having the being the first branch in uh, in any institute has its own drawbacks and its own advantage one of the advantage advantages are that you know you are a pioneer batch so you start that legacy second you are very close to your faculty and uh, usually you directly get trained by the best of the things you always gives the opportunities uh, you know for doing things in first and there is no competition so that is definitely a good, definitely a good, good thing and as i said that even if you don't get that exposure you can still do uh, sr ship in other college where there is a lot of exposure and you can still you know work, you know uh, complete that deficiency that you have so don't worry about that part that you know i won't get exposure i, I don't learn don't leave seed because of that you will get a chance in your life to you know fulfill that and aims are growing see if you compare aims with uh, state colleges the rate of which the aims will grow is way better and way faster than the state college so even if there are not things there in your first year trust me in 6 months or so things will change so definitely will not regret uh, taking peripheral aims so that is all that i wanted to tell you so in my future uh, in next week in the next video series i'll try to bring you different branches and you know my view point on which branch uh, versus the other branch i'll try to give that to you i'll try to bring this people who have who have already been doing uh, their post graduation in these institutes i'll try to bring their stories and their interviews as well uh, so i hope this video will help you also i would like to share my email id that is milin aims ppl at the rate gmail.com i'll share it in my description as well also you can uh, search me on instagram as well milin chinda md and uh, if you have story that you want to share uh, with the other students definitely you have done all the hard work and got this uh, beautiful result so if you want to share with uh, that story which can be a guiding light for a lot of students you can write me and we will bring that story to the students i hope this video helps you i wish you all the best and take care